Hello, welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to give you all the latest Manchester United news coming out today from the king of transfers, Fabrizio Romano. So stay tuned for everything because, of course, it's the king of transfers. Real, reliable, and authentic news from the king of transfers. Stay tuned for everything. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Mason Greenwood was in Carrington today. What did he come to Carrington to do? What did he come to Carrington to do? I like, will talk about that also. And yes, like, I leave a comment. Um, everything I said, I leave a follow. Share this video so this video can get to as many people as possible. Is the transfer season. Our transfer is starting. We're going to get our first signing this week. Everything is moving really, really fast. So stay tuned for everything. And let's get straight to everything concerning Manchester United transfer news according to the king of transfers, Fabrizio Romano. And starting with our first signing of the summer, Joshua Zexi, according to Fabrizio Romano, he says, we are almost there. Joshua Zexi is going to be our first signing of this summer. What we are basically doing now is negotiating if we are going to pay the release, the release clause in full or pay it in, um, in instrument, instrumentally, basically. That's what we are negotiating. That deal is done. Personal terms, salary commission, we know we are going to pay. We are willing to pay. It. That deal is done. We're just waiting to know how we are going to pay pay the money to Bologna. Uh, so we can get the year we go anytime soon. You can get you can the year we go might already be out when you are watching this video. So don't forget to always refresh the page, follow the channel, and everything will be posted immediately. It comes out. But Joshua Zexi to United is done. It's gonna be our first signing. So happy days, our our perfect and to the Marshall replacement. So let's see how that deal progresses. Let's see how that deal is being finalized. But Joshua Zexi to United basically done. And to our most likely second signing of this season, of course, most likely 100% sure the elite is going to be our second signing. But according to that deal from Fabrizio Mano, he says the deal for Matthias the elite is progressing well, but not quite in the final stages yet. Matthias the elite believes United is the perfect opportunity. He wants to unite with Everton Hag and he feels like an important player. He wants to feel like an important player as United. And he's going to be an important player as United because Ten Hag has already called him and told him he wants him to be. Um, form a partnership with Lissandro Martinez at the centre back position. Both of them are going to be our first choice centre back um, for the coming season. The Ritz is going to be our second signing for sure. Personal terms agreed, agent and salary commissions, everything agreed. What is remaining is how much are we going to pay, and if I'm going to pay it, and how much are we going to pay instrumentally? Because definitely we're not going to pay every, everything at once. So the deal for Joshua, the deal for the Ritz is also in advanced stages. But not at the final stages yet. We are still negotiating how much money we are going to pay for him. But for Joshua Zexi, we are negotiating how we are going to pay this release clause. Because the release clause is the fixed price. We are negotiating how we are going to pay it. For the lead, we are negotiating how much we are going to pay. So when we start negotiating how much uh, we are going to pay this summer. Or how we are going to pay the money we agreed. That's when it's going to be in the final stages. I don't even understand. For Joshua Zexi, we have already agreed the price. He has, he has a release clause. 40 million euro. So we are negotiating how are we going to pay it instrumentally or at once. For the leads, we haven't negotiated a price yet. When we negotiate a price, then we will negotiate how we are going to pay it. So the leads um, is not in the final stages, it's still advancing. But for Judas Zexi, it is basically in the final stages. But for that, but personally, with those, but um, united with those players, everything is agreed. So it is now with Pologna and with. Um, um, Bayern Munich, the club is negotiating with them, with the two clubs and um, one on one. So those deals are basically um for Joshua Zexi and 9% done. For um Delete, 90% done. Let's see how those deals advances in the coming days. And according to the Athletic UK breaking news that came out earlier today, it says Missing Greenwood reported to Carrington Training Ground on Monday morning to continue talks over an exit from Manchester United. Greenwood met with members of the Football Club leadership and held constructive dialogue about resuming his career elsewhere. Greenwood left following a brief discussion. There was never any expectation that he would train. Greenwood remains a United player, but now there is no expectation of him rejoining the first team squad as a departure is being worked on. That was from the Athletic. And from Fabrizio Romano, also breaking news, it says, Olympic de Marseille have made a verbal proposal to Manchester United for missing Greenwood. Talks are ongoing between the two clubs. Greenwood still Marcel's main target with negotiation over fee. Man United are open to loan plus obligation to buy, but the big but are big on sell on clause that must be included in any negotiations with any club. So let me break this down. 
basically greenwood came to carrington today to talk about to talk with the executive united executive about his future and clubs that are interested in him and because he wants that deal to come and go very very fast he wants to move on he wants to leave united and he wants to begin his precision training with his new club right so he came to carrington to do that after that he left greenwood did not train at carrington today he did not he was there but was there for a very short period and he did not train and also today olympic de Marseille made a verbal proposal to united a verbal, a verbal proposal is basically hello is also amount going to be acceptable for you guys for missing greenwood yes or no that's a verbal proposal if it is acceptable then tell us what amount to be acceptable oh, okay after that they then um, formulate a, a an official bid for him but what's coming out today is highly likely that greenwood is going to go to marseille roberto de zabi wants him and he might get his man greenwood might end up going to marseille we all know that lazo are interested and some other clubs are interested but marseille seems to be one seems to be the club really pushing for missing greenwood let's see how that deal progresses and also united are open to a loan deal plus an obligation plus an obligation to buy so he might go on loan for this season then uh, the next summer they must pay a transfer fee for him for him to go permanent right and also united that united wants to add in any negotiation for a sell-on clause what is a sell-on clause if united sells basin greenwood to um marseille this summer and in the next two years they want to sell him my United might get 10 percent 20 percent or 30 percent of whatever transfer fee marseille gets for him so let's see how what happens basically let's see how those negotiations negotiations go and let's see what comes out of that but the main thing to take out of this is that Mason Greenwood was at Carrington today to discuss about his future but he's not coming back to the squad and he's leaving Manchester United and according to Fabrizio Romano also today he says United are expected to open contract talks with Ahmad in the coming months United are very happy with Ahmad and think he's a great talent he will be an important player for the coming season is Ahmad Anthony and Pelestri good enough to be our right wingers for next season Remember, Pelestri has never been given a chance for Ten Hag, so he might likely be sold this summer. Um, but then, Anthony and Anthony and Ahmad is that enough for our right wing position? Ahmad, we saw a glimpse of last season, but is Ahmad good enough to be our first choice winger? Anthony, of course, has been up and down. Obviously, he has a lot of issues, so we can't rely on Anthony to be our first choice winger. So, who is going to be our first choice winger if Ahmad and Anthony are the only options we have? Because we're going to sell Greenwood and we're going to sell Sancho. I remember we were interested in signing Olise. We didn't get that done. So are we going to later in the transfer market sign another winger? Because I don't think Ahmad and Anthony is good enough to be our choices at the right wing. At the left wing, we have Rashford and Ganacho. Very, very good options. But at the right, it doesn't really tally. But maybe Ahmad could be the our shining star next season. But right here, right now, we have to really prepare for who's going to be our first choice right by um, right winger for next season but all we have is Ahmad and anthony but Ahmad is going to get a new contract and he deserves to get a new contract and we are all waiting to see what he can produce for us next season and according to Fabrizio Romano it will be very difficult for us to sign Yao Neves from Benfica for his release clause many clubs are interested in him PSG are interested in him but nobody wants to pay 120 million euro for a 18 year old defensive midfielder Yao Neves is a very, very good player, a very, very good prospect, but it's going to be too expensive for anybody to sign. So Fabrizio Romano is saying it's very, very unlikely that United will be able to sign that player. But let's see what happens with that. Uh, we know that he's probably one of our top targets for the midfield position, especially if Casemiro leaves the club, but that transfer fee is too much. But also another target in that midfield is someone called Manuel Ugate. This is not the first time he's hearing his name from PSG. And according to Fabrizio Romano, he said Ugate is an option on the table. Talks with the players, with the player went well and is keen on the move to United. PSG are yet to receive an official bid. So while still, going, while still assessing the whole situation, we are in advanced stages with Delit and Zexi. Ugate could be our third signing. Especially if we feel we can't, we can't get the fee, if we can't sign Yao Neves again, then Ugate is most likely going to be our third signing of this season. But let's see what happens with that. And also, Man United are highly likely to sign another centre-back after signing Matias Delit, And Lenny Yoro is one of the options. But of course, 
Yoro wants to go to Madrid, so let's leave that for that. He wants to go to Madrid. Madrid wants him. He has one year left on his contract, but Lille wants around 40 million euro for him, and Madrid will not pay that. But since he has one year left, next summer he might he will be a free agent. So will he wait for one more year to go to Real Madrid? Let's see what happens with that. But Yoro wants to go to Real Madrid, so no need to talk about him. No need to talk about him too much. But on that centre back, we we are highly interested in him. He's bright weight. But according to Fabrizio Romano, he says the only way for United to sign Gerard Brightweight is if Everton lowers their asking price. United have no intention of going up to their £65 million valuation. So United are not going to pay any stupid fee for Brightweight. So right here, right now, the Brightweight deal is off unless Everton comes to their senses. But right here, right now, Brightweight not coming to the club. He's 21 years old, but he doesn't really want to even push the move. That is the heart of respect for Everton. He doesn't want to push the move. So that deal is off. But United are going to sign two, two centre-backs highly likely because we would expect Harry Maguire and Lindelof to leave the club. But Brightweight is off until we can agree a fee for him. And then, um, according to Fabrizio Romano, he says, So from Amrabat is waiting on United. The club is taking their time with their decision, but the option is to keep him in there. But there's an, op but there's an option to keep him. So, Amrabat, tell me in the comment section, will you want Amrabat to be signed permanently? For next season but he's still waiting we haven't made our decision yet i feel if we can look for other a better better options for him other than him then let's explore that but it's going to be very very cheap 17 million he's just going to be there if we sign him he's not going to be a starter of course he's going to be on the bench it's going to be someone that comes on from the bench right so that won't be too bad especially if if casimero goes and we get a new we get ugate if for example casimero goes and we get ugate then adding amabat to ugate will be a very very good option right Let's see how that progresses. Also, according to Fabrizio Romano, he says the appreciation for Jadon Sancho from Juventus is there, but they would need to sell a player in order to fund a deal. Federico Chiesa departure could be a key in this. I've said this multi multiple times. Juventus want Sancho, but they have to sell before they buy him. So if they sell Chiesa, then they will look at signing Jadon Sancho. Also, according to Alfredo Pedula, um, this afternoon he said you know, um, Jadon Sancho rejected a deal from a club because he's waiting for Juventus. So watch out for that. Sancho to Juventus could be a real, real deal. So watch out for that. And that could definitely happen. And Fabrizio Mano says um, the only possibility of players like Bruno Fernandes, um, Marco Rashford leaving the club is if United get a very, very big proposal for those players. If you get a 100 million bid for Sancho or um, for, for Rashford or Bruno, then we might look at selling them. That is the only way those kind of players will leave if you get a very very big fee for them. So if PSG had to bid 80 million euro, 80 million pounds for for Rashford, then maybe he might he might go. If a Saudi Poly club bid 100 million euro for um, Bruno, then that is how or that is when we might look at selling those kind of players that are very very important to us. But of course, everybody is up for sale. The transfer fee is what we are looking at. And earlier today, this morning. Rene Hake and Wood Van were pictured coming into Carrington today. They have the working their working permits are not yet ready. They are not they have not been announced. They are not ready to work yet, but they were in Carrington today. I don't know what they came to do, but they were in Carrington. They won't I don't think they will be part of training, but they were part of maybe some meetings and some things like that. But their work permits are not yet ready. Once it's ready, they will be announced and they can officially be there. But of course they will be there to hold meetings and look at the players and maybe greet the players and blah blah blah. They are both in Manchester. They are ready to resume. Just the work permit holding them down. Also, we had lots of pictures of players like Anthony, Wambisaka, Ahmad, Maguire, Onana. Those players that went on international break were all in quarantine today. Even with Everton Hag, as the training session is on, preseason training is on. Our uh, first game is against Rosenborg. I think next week Monday, seven days from six, seven days from today, we we'll play our first preseason game. But preseason training is on, and um, yeah, even uh, our new goalkeeper coach, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Our new goalkeeper, goalkeeper coach was also in training, was, was also in quarantine today. Also, his work permit is not yet ready, but everything is shaping up really, really good. We we'll get an, an official announcement for three of them this week, and um, yeah, preseason training is on. And let's welcome all the players back. You can see the pictures of them. Welcome all the players back. Wish them the best. Messi Mount. Hopefully, he gets a. a, a he gets a boost that will take him through the new season 
and he can become a very important player for us. On now everybody is back, and let's see how everything progresses. So this, this is everything basically coming out from Fabrizio Romano today. Um, tell me in the, in the comment section what you think about everything I've talked about today. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you all on the next one. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about everything discussed. Which news is most important to you? Which news is most exciting to you? How would you do it? Just exit to United, the leads, and the um, Manuel Gatti, and the exit of Missing Greenwood and everything discussed today. And I will see you all on the next one.